Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological overview for the whole of 2013 for Gemini. Now, obviously, I can only give you a very, very short flavour of this year, partly because there's some extraordinary astrology and I'll be taking it month by month for the rest of the year. Anyway, what does the message of 2013 hold for you? You're your usual quick-witted self, but revelations are occurring this year about the people around you. You may be seeing some of the people around you as very different to who you first thought that they were. Even people you've known a long time, you may see different layers or have a revelation about people in your life. Also, you're being urged to go after your dreams and to mix with the people that support you in your dreams and avoid people that are full of negativity. You're reinventing yourself in 2013. You're rediscovering yourself in 2013 and you're going on a big journey to your, the heart of who you are. Let's start with a few specific things month by month. In January, Venus conjunct Pluto on January the 15th is making you feel very disturbed almost or overcome with desire or, or passionate thoughts. These can be positive things like lust and love and passion for life or someone in particular. But it can also be something comes up like jealousy or fear or insecurity. But Pluto always strikes to help our soul grow. So whatever comes up, it's about you transforming that emotion and finding out where the energy block is within yourself that's creating imbalance or allowing Pluto to release your passion and desire. On the 8th of February, there is a stellium with Mars, Mercury, Neptune and Chiron saying to you, the time has come to look at your career. We are going to guide you. We are going to put a signpost in front of you, leading you down the correct career path for you. Something karmic, something interesting, something inevitable is occurring in February around your career, or certainly an opportunity. And as you know, I'm not a fatalistic astrologer, but it appears that there is some spiritual effect happening to guide you with your career in February. Also, Mercury goes retrograde in February on the 23rd. So try and sort out whatever is connected to your career before then. You've got a window from the 8th of February to the 23rd to sort things out. On the 17th, Mercury of March, Mercury, the planet of communication, goes forward. And whatever plans you've been having around your career, suddenly it's a lot clearer. And if there's a contract that you need to sign or something you need to sign off, that's a great time to do it. On the 18th of March, Saturn is going backwards and saying, right, I just want you to pay attention to how you looked after yourself in the past. Were you healthier? Did you do more exercise? Were you into yoga? Did you take yourselves out for walks more? If so, it's time to reawaken your commitment to yourself when it comes to your health and well-being. On the 15th of May, Mercury, the planet of communication, goes into your sign. So you really are fully flowing into the year you should have already sorted out some career stuff and you're ready to speak your mind, say your truth and get on and rock and roll when it comes to your career. On the 28th of May, there is a conjunction of Venus and Jupiter in your sign. This is very good news. It brings about a brand new cycle for love. You feel optimistic. You have an amazing ability to charm and flirt and be delightful around that time. And in June, Neptune goes retrograde and Mercury goes retrograde and there's a sense of you looking again to the past to make sure that you're on the right track. Now, the, also Jupiter on the 26th of June goes into a position where you feel much more confident about your finances and being able to support yourself and create the security that you want in the world. There is a massive event occurring in July for all of us. It kicks off with Saturn going direct and it's saying to you, right, it's time to really pay attention to what's going on in your life right now. And then Uranus is going retrograde. It's going back to the past. It may bring a friendship into your life that can help you with what's to come when it comes to your soul growth. But the big news is on the 29th of July, there is a grand soul alignment and it is full on. I'm going to do a whole video on this because it's so amazing. We have a star of David forming in the sky. And we have two grand trines, two T-squares, three kites, two rectangles, a yod and a hexagon on the 29th of July. Something is happening. We are awakening beyond what we thought was possible. We are being plugged into our true selves. We are joining forces together to help evolve the whole. 
I'm really going to research and look into this to give you more specific information, but certainly July, something of great magnitude is happening, whether it's an external event in the world or an internal event for us individually or as a whole, it's a big, big shift. Now, in October, you're feeling, maybe you're dealing with things from July to October about the revelations you've had within yourself about who you are. And you start to feel a lot stronger in November when Mercury goes direct, Neptune goes direct, and in December, Uranus goes direct. So you're, you're able to pull together everything you've learned from July onwards and really implement it in your life and come up with some genius ideas about the direction you want to go in. 2013 is extraordinary for you. Believe in yourself. Don't let anyone else control you. Trust in your spirit and your heart. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.